Hi, this is Pat Walker at Mission Winners. And how is a chart validated? And it's really simple, folks. Clean and simple with price and volume. So there's the technical side of it. A leading stock in a leading group with good price volume characteristics. But then you have to take it a step further, and this is what we do in Mission Winners. We quantify it. We know for a fact that companies that have earnings over 40% or higher are average sales over 40% or higher for two quarters outperform other stocks. And it's what we key on. It's what we look for. So we're looking here at Zoom. This was earlier in the year. At this time, when we were looking at this chart, and this is weekly on the left, daily on the right. And I encourage you, when you're scanning your charts, have the weekly on the left and the daily on the right, and study the price and volume characteristics on both of them. You will do better. Focus on stocks in the top 30 to 40 groups. Focus on stocks near 52-week highs. Focus on stocks that have clean and simple chart formations. Focus on stocks that have a unique product and service. And as I stated, focus on stocks that have earnings of 40% or higher and or average sales of 40% or higher. At this time, when we were looking in this chart in January of this year, okay, or excuse me, January of 2000, right in here, right in this spot right in here, this stock had earnings up, okay, you ready? January this year, gosh, can you believe it's already October of 2020? Earnings up 800% and sales were up 85%. Those were the numbers before it broke out. Weekly, down on heavy volume, but then a good spike up and you've got clean tops right there. Notice the price and volume action on this bar and then look at this bar. See the heavier volume coming into it? They're buying it up. What does it do? On the weekly, it forms a cup and a handle. Here's the cup and then there's the little handle. What else catches our eye? It ran up on good volume fell on less volume, and then starts to pick up again on a slight pickup in volume on the weekly. Note, the volume on this weekly bar is heavier than this weekly bar. Green bars are good, red bars are bad. See the difference? And here's the daily. What do you notice on the daily? Right here, do you see that as it's starting to move up in price? This bar right here, volume's picking up as it's approaching this line. This is the line on the daily and this is the line on the weekly. Okay, what are we looking for? It's simple. Push through that line on a big volume surge. Why volume? I say this a lot. Said at the IBD meetup for 12 years, people talk with their mouths and vote with their pocketbooks. I want to go where they're voting. It's what we key on admission winners. I want that volume. I want everybody to see what we see and they're voting on it. They are acting. So. Now you have the setup. You have the fundamental setup. You have the technical setup. And unique product or service. Let's advance it on the daily, one bar. Look at that. Pushes through and look at the volume. On this bar, the stock did 2.5 million shares. You can say, how do I know that? See where it's got the V? That's the volume on that bar. On the breakout bar, 13 million shares. 2.5, 13 million. Folks, five times as much. Huge volume surge. As I stated earlier, people talk with their mouths and vote with their pocketbooks. They voted. So what we do was on the key list from before, picking it up right in here. Okay? And you advance in a bar and you can say, oh God, that's it. It's over. Gaps up, runs up, and reverses. But it's still well above the pivot, isn't it? If you bought it up here and chased price, you have a problem. If you bought it up here or here and chased price, you have a problem. 
But if you bought it at the right prices, which is what we had struck at Mission Winners, buy it at the right price. Buy right, sit tight. That's it. That's it. Buy right, sit tight. You don't get it, don't buy it. Goes up on heavy volume, reverses down on heavy volume, but less than it went up on. And you advance it. You have a quiet inside bar on less volume, constructive. A quiet inside bar on even less volume. Equilibrium right there. Starts to pick up a little bit. See this? On a slight pickup in volume. See the volume on that bar is heavier than this bar? And I'll do something for you. We'll enlarge it a little bit now. See that? Let's advance it. One bar. Quiet inside bar on less volume. Constructive. Demonstrating equilibrium here between buyers and sellers. These people that bought down here, what does this show us? They're not eager to sell, folks. We'll advance this one bar. Right there. Okay, and we'll take this back. So this bar here on the close is this on the daily. I'll advance this one bar. There you go. What would we like to see? Take out this little pennant formation with a volume pickup. Runs up, pulls back a bit on a slight pickup in volume. But note, it didn't take out the previous day's lows. Volume was still very low, and it's well above the breakout price. If you buy it right, you can sit tight. Buy right, sit tight. There you go. Pulls back, and where does it come down to, folks? Right down to the rising eight day. Support at the ADMA. Advance it. Check it out. What does it do, folks? It bounces off the rising eight EMA. You can say, who cares? Look at the volume pickup. Look at the volume. Volume pickup. It's not dramatic, but it's picked up. Quiet inside bar on low volume. And then payday. Gaps up and runs up more and look at the volume surge. There you go. Advance the weekly right there. This is what you're looking at on the weekly and this is the daily side by side. Little pennant lifts off, gaps up, lifts off on a volume pickup. Folks, on this bar, the stock did 2.3 million shares. On this bar, 5.6 million shares, more than double the previous bar. They voted, they voted. And then you get this, and you get this. Then it gaps down. But what's the beauty? You own it down here, you're okay. Could you sell a little if you wanted to? Sure, there's nothing wrong with that. Would you sell it all? No, don't limit profits, limit losses. Who knows where it's going to go? And what's it do? It gaps down and bounces off the rising eight day and look at the volume. You think people don't know about the rising eight day? You're darn right they do. And they voted. I'll do this right here and we'll advance that. And then it takes off. See the high on this bar? Coincides with the high on that bar. High on this bar is 110.75, 110.75. That's what you're looking at. Weekly and daily, side by side. This is a great template, folks. Lifts up again on a pickup in volume. Look at this. Inside bar on less volume, low volume. Up again on a pickup in volume. You know what I call that? Now you get this big bearish engulfing bar. What would you do on a bar like this? gaps up huge and reverses and drops on heavy volume. What could you do on that bar, folks? You'd sell a little bit into strength. That's okay. You can say, what do you mean? 20%, 10 or 20%. Don't sell at all, okay? Here it is on the weekly. Let me go back. There's the weekly, and here's this weekly. Same price, 105, 105. So now what do we do? We've locked in some profits, great Pro I mean, great profits. What do you do? Let's see what happens. Advance it. Big tail bar. Got a little loose, but you're still in great shape. 114.32, 114.32. The trend is up. It's grinding up. Heavier volume. Look at the volume picking up. Good volume. Heavier volume. Heavier volume. That's what you look for. And remember this, 
This stock had great earnings and sales when it went and it was in a leading group. We're not talking about an anomaly here, folks. Comes down to the 21 EMA, bounces off of it on the 21 EMA, quiet on the 21 EMA, down to the 21 EMA, low volume. Here it is on the daily. Oh, let me do this one more bar, I'm sorry. Daily, weekly, 107.47. You're okay, up on heavy volume. Folks, on this bar it did 84 million shares. On this bar it did 58.7. Tails up, fades off a bit, but it's still hanging above this support line. You gotta give it a little room. You've got a great cushion. I mean, dag nebbit, you own it down here at around 80 bucks. So you don't get sloppy, but you watch it. And then it does this. Look at that. You know what I call that? You know what it is, sweet potato pie right there, babe. That's good. Oh, shot that, sorry. And then you get this. There's 151, there you go. Comes down, loses the 20, what could you do? Maybe sell a little bit, there's nothing. How much? Sell 20%, it's okay. Don't sell at all. There it is, bearish engulfing bar. Well, not bearish, excuse me. Bearish, but not engulfing, my fault. Bases, comes down to the 50-day, but you're in great shape. You've locked some profits in. Hovering on the 50-day, lift a little lift off the 50-day. Basing on the 50-day, starts to pick up again off the 50-day. Here it is. Make sure I get the right bar, I'm sorry. Right there. Weekly, daily, weekly. Advance it. We're gonna speed this up so I don't bore you. But I find this fun. There you go. Right there, and right there. Isn't that nice? So, let's play the game. You own it down here. You own it 80 some odd bucks. You've sold some into strength. Let's just rock and roll. And you get this, and you get this, and you get this, and you get this, and it goes sideways, loses the 50 day, could sell a little bit, comes right back. I mean, there's basing patterns in here too if you wanna buy more, right? Gaps up huge on earnings, I mean huge, I mean folks, that's a gift, 100 point, 130 point, 140 point gap up. What could you do? You could sell a little bit, gee whiz. And here we go. We'll just march this animal up. And there we are. Entry right here. Whew. And again, is that not what you're after? A niche product great earnings and or great sales, and off to the races. There was an entry right here too on a volume pickup. Anyway, I wanted to go through it with you just to show you. And remember this, this stock was in a leading group when it broke out. This stock had earnings up 800% and sales up 85% before it broke out. These are foundations that we use. You do not need both great earnings and sales. Nice if you have it. You need one or the other and a leading group with a great chart. And you have built yourself an edge that nobody can take away from you. That's what we're doing at Mission Winners, looking for these. Do they all do this? Oh, come on. No. But we've had some really good ones. We've had some triple. Like Beyond me, triple, Tesla. Countless huge runs. Friends pay. Anyway, take great numbers combined with a great chart, and you probably have a recipe for a winner. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.